I want to greet the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu and all these companions I'm talking about, those who took part in the battle of Badr. Wouldn't you like to meet them? Wallahi, I want to meet them. Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib radiallahu an. I can't wait to see him, to meet him. Our heroes, they gave their lives so that we can sit here today. We can't even give up 5p, 5p. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. So Allah praises them and says they love those who made hijrah and they give, they give that which they desperately need away, knowing that they need it. They prefer the other's needs over their own needs, even if they are desperate. And then Allah caps it by saying, those who protect, those who are protected from their own stinginess or miserliness, the miserliness of their own nafs, they are the truly successful. Those who are not selfish are truly successful. When it's all about me, myself and I, I can never be successful. When you've empowered others, you empower not just your children and your family members, but you truly empower as many people as you can. Wallahi, you've earned your paradise. But when you're worried about yourself alone, everything must be mine and mine. How much do you want? You've made the billion we spoke about moments ago. The Amins were said, Alhamdulillah. After the billion, what do you want? Let someone else make another billion. Alhamdulillah. It's okay. Help them. Give them. Set them up. And this is how you will succeed. My brothers and sisters, the deen of Allah is amazing. What Allah has blessed us with is amazing. Allah chose certain people. He praised them. He mentioned them in the Quran. He spoke about their qualities, their sacrifices. He spoke about what they did so that the deen can get to us. Now we need to learn from them in order to preserve the deen, to practice upon it and to convey it to others as we leave this world. Because every single person you've inspired to do good, is better for you than all the material items you found on this earth. In fact, one narration says, if Allah used you to guide a single person, it's better for you than Humrin Naam. You know what is Humrin Naam? The most expensive and valuable and luxurious of the mode of transport at the time was the red camel. So Allah says through the lips of Nabi Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, it's a hadith that it is better for you than the red camel. Today, Perhaps the best mode of transport, the most luxurious. What do you think it probably is? Say something. What's the best? Say it. Rolls Royce. I'm thinking of a A380 or something. Come on. We're thinking of what? Spaceship going to Mars. No, no. Whatever it is. You know what? It's endless. But at the same time, imagine better than that. Allah saying, just work on one person. One person. If Allah's used you to guide one, it's better for you than all of this.